Hey, I'm Thrand here. Hey, oh, this is Eldgrim. And, and this, this is the Thane Thrand Channel. Yo! Yeah. I show the blood out of the eye. Look at this, it cracked. I'm assuming that's where I stabbed it. Because I'd stabbed right there, but it's starting to leak and cry from that, so that means it did pierce the skull, just not deep enough to kill the Draugr. And then we've got a nice, nice bleeding there. It just didn't go in as deep as I expected. This was actually a head that we had already decapped in another video, so you just all know that. But that is our standard head from the neck up to where I cut it. So all we did is put a little attachment to it, pulled it up. Not even on there very good. But that's what this kind of spear with that kind of force would do to a skull. And we believe these are harder than human heads. Early period when this was used, this blade was the most efficient and effective way to kill your opponent. It'll leave such a wide room. So let's go ahead and test that out. And, like I was saying, with that broad a spear, how can you miss? We basically didn't hit right on the point. We just sliced through the entire side of the thing. Beautiful edge. Yeah, not bad at all. Nice slice. The only reason we didn't come out the back is I did the hair short, but I cut clean through the edge. Not a bad cut. We actually lost it off our pedestal, but that's kind of expected. We have an actual piece that, as it's cutting, will actually catch on the outside, as we see it did here. But you would get that full depth of cut all the way to here, and this would start slowing you down, kind of hindering you. But all in all, that's not a bad cut all at all. Let's look at the top half. The top half, you can see even better how beautiful a slice we actually got. I'm t definitely impressed with that, as being a cutting implement, not just a spear. And as usual, we didn't have time to soak it very long, so... Ah! Wow! That's almost as good as the side. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I am extremely impressed. Check that out, that's close. Ah! <laughs> well, I don't know if it would fall over that way due to all the weight and the neck, but we already had the spine broken up here, so it's kind of hard for it to hold together. Oh. Ah! That went clean through the spine. Yeah. Nice draw cut for you. But Okay, let's see what this thing totally sharp enough to do. I'm going to try to go through the entire thing if possible. I remember this entire thing's been sharp. Even the hooks and the prongs. Oh, man! Transitioning from one piece to the next, we had a little ripping. But I still think that was quite impressive. And that's what the whole thing sharpened all the way around, which was a little bit of pain, but it shows you can do it. It's good quality steel. I am quite impressed. I even brought the edge back here. So a smoother transition. I don't know, but Ugh. through the spine. You got guys gotta see this. Let me, let me get the head pieces and pick them up. This is what I was expecting from this kind of pole arm. But this is pretty much insanity. See if I can show you that is insane. Straight through the PVC pipe is the spine, the wood, all the way through the skull, which is harder than a human skull with the ballistics gel. That's insane. And we got the gel falling apart <laughs> from the impact in the fall. 
Let's get the other head. <laughs> no, so the stories have got to be true. The stories have got to be true. They talk about people's head cut all the way down into their chest. I don't. I think if we didn't have wood here, because they uh -huh. cut our wood, I think it would have kept going into the chest cavity. At that era, when they used this kind of weighted pole arm with that kind of length, this is the kind of results they speak of happening to people not in armor. So, I mean, am I totally surprised? No, but that is impressive. That is one heck of a pole arm. We should try that thrusting ability. I was hoping for a decap, but that I counts. Need one now. We decapped it the long way instead of the easy way. <laughs> Ready.